What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in the previous video, I was showing you how to set up a custom audience and I kind of touched on the importance of it and why you absolutely want to do that before you run your next Facebook ad. Um, in this case, what we're going to set up is a custom conversion. Okay. We're going to tell Facebook, you can do that through the, through the actual event, um, um, the code events as well, the event codes as well but I'm gonna actually set up an actual custom conversion just to walk you guys through it because it's super powerful as well. And you could test, you can run conversion ads to the event code or you can run um, conversion ads to, um, to um, custom conversions, okay? So here's what I wanna show you just to, just to begin with. Let's go to, um, 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 let's go to, Let's see. Well, I want to show you this first um, because, yeah, let me show you this first because let's go to the ads manager. Let's go to create. And all you're going to do is you can come up here and you can click on create. You can come to your Facebook page. You can click on create and go to add. Click on add right there. Or you can come over here to the ads manager and you can click on the three lines and then just click on ads manager from there. So just like I did, I came to the three lines. I clicked on ads manager right there. And then it brings me, it brings me here. Okay. So this is the dashboard. You want to bookmark this for sure. Bookmark this page. This is your dashboard. This is where you'll be able to see all your ads. Right. Um, but then also when you click on over here, create, you click on add, this actually brings you to the ad setup. So before we get to the ad setup, we're right here. Okay. So this is the dashboard to get to the ad setup. We click on the, the, the green button, create. And this brings us to the ad setup. Okay, these are the three pillars. Okay, ad account is because I don't, this is a new ad account. I don't have my card attached to it just yet. So I'll set that up for sure. But normally when you come in here, all you're going to see is the first step campaign, the second step, the ad set, and then the third step, the ad. Okay, this right here, are th this, this is your three pillars. I call it three pillars. These are your three steps. Okay, so when you're in here, Step one, campaign objective. For those of you that are real estate agents, insurance agents, um, if you're giving away any kind of download, any kind of free PDF, if you're um, offering any kind of free training and they have to opt in, people have to give up their name and email to attend your free training or you're holding a webinar and you got a webinar, you know, a pre-recorded webinar and you're getting people to your webinar. Um, if you're a coach or a consultant and getting people to schedule appointments or if you're getting people to um to download a free coupon for your boxing gym or your yoga studio you know you're running facebook ads and you're giving away a seven day pass to your yoga studio right the landing page and then you have the thank you page that thank you page is where we're going to set up our custom conversion okay we're going to tell facebook hey people who land on this page we want to optimize that. We want to optimize that. We're looking for people that are that are likely to land on thank you pages. We're looking for people that are likely to opt in. And that's when you go to this ad right here. This conversions, this objective are for people or for businesses like us that are looking to capture leads, okay? Um, and, and there's so many different ways every way I just mentioned. That right there is conversions. If you're driving traffic to a landing page and trying to get them to opt in to enter their name and email or their name and phone number, it's the conversions ad that you're going to be running. You could you could test traffic as well, but it's 99% it, of the time it's conversion ads, okay? <clears throat> and in that conversions, we have to tell Facebook, hey, the people who land on the thank you page, let's go to the thank you page. This is the thank you page, Okay. We're going to tell Facebook now, hey, man, we want to set up a custom conversion. We want to track all these people that land on this page. But most importantly, we want you, Facebook, to find us people that are likely to land on this page. We're optimizing for conversions, okay? We're optimizing for leads, bottom line, bottom line. So it's this link, this URL that I'm going to set up. Um, so when I go and run a conversions ad, I can choose that optimization, okay? So we got to set up the conversion first, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here, hit the three lines, hit all tools, and go to custom conversions. Okay? Um, leave this page. We're going to go to custom conversions, and we're going to simply 
set it up with that URL. Okay. So we come over here. We're now in the custom conversions. This is a whole new account. So you're seeing this from the beginning. Create custom conversions. And it very similar to the video I cut the other day, right? Regarding setting up custom audiences. Very similar. Very, very similar. So we're using the right pixel. We're in the right ad account. What we're going to do now is we're going to copy this link. This is the link. This is the, the link that people would land on after they already opt in. Okay, they're coming to this page. Um, they're clicking the yellow button to try to get to try to get them to the next step. The first step is to get them to opt in. We're giving away a free download to get them to, to do that. Once they do that and they opt in, they get this download automatically emailed to them. And then this is going to be a video telling that person to schedule an appointment, schedule your free consultation, right? And that's when they have the ability to click here and um, go to a calendar. And that's where they schedule the appointment. Okay. Very, very simple setup. But we want to optimize this page. We want to create this URL as the custom conversion. Okay. So we're going to come over here, right pixel, all URL traffic, or, or I can even send it to an event lead schedule so I can optimize there's the event right there or I can include the actual URL so I'm going to include the URL um, it contains that URL and then what I can do I can add another rule if I want to add another rule but the name of it I'm going to name I'm going to name this um, free download opt-in Free download opt-ins. The category is going to be add payment. It's going to be completed registration. It's going to be lead. Okay. And then we don't have to put a value. You can, but you don't have to. If you're selling stuff, then you could put a value. But this is for like people looking for appointments, right? Before I even sold you anything, I got to get you on the phone. Um, so, or you can optimize for purchases, right? If you're not talking to anybody on the phone, this, this still applies. You got to set this up. This is your custom conversion. Okay. So we click on create and that is it, man. That is it. So your custom conversion free download opt-in has been successfully created. We click on done. So I can go, I can click on create a conversion ad. I could have, I could have created the ad straight from right there. Um, but I can easily come back in here. So here's what I'm going to do now. So here's what I do now. Look, this is the new title. Okay. That's the new conversion. So here's why I'm going to do it because my whole objective is to capture leads. Okay. And that's my whole objective. And so that means that over here, as I go and set up my next ad over here, I'm going to choose, I'm going to click the green button and then I'm going to choose conversions. Okay, that's the objective. And here's what happens now. Since I set up that custom conversion, hit conversions and then just come down here. You can title it. And, and it could, yeah, it could be, a, yeah, you can hit conversions and go ahead and title it. You could put um, conversions, custom conversion, custom conversion, custom conversion. And this is the um, free download opt-in okay that's the title okay i can easily name it something like that okay i come down here don't worry about the split don't worry about the campaign budget optimization just yet we're just getting started we're just getting started so this right here now there's now they want me to set up an ad account okay so i hit continue this is where they so now now that that new ad account is is in effect so now I come down to the ad set level. This is normally the second step. When you go run your second ad and on, you're not going to see this ad account because now it's already set up. So it'll go straight to the ad set. And then here is where I'm going to select that custom event. And the custom event is going to be um, down, submit application. These are all different. There it is right there. Free download opt-ins. There is my my um, my conversion, my custom conversion. Now, what I have to do is I have to refresh this page. See, look, right now there's a red dot. Okay, right now there's a red dot. It's showing that it's inactive. That the pixel, the that the event code is is inactive. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over to the page. I'm going to come over to the page, and I'm going to refresh it. So now Facebook can pick it up. So now Facebook just tracked it. Boom. Now it's being tracked. So if I come over here, 
Maybe I might have to refresh this page. We'll see. But let's come over here. And it's still red. So yeah, let's refresh this page real quick. Let's see if we can. We might lose everything, but it's okay. It's just the title that I titled it. Let's go back if we have to. That's fine. Because this is super important and this is super basic. This is your custom conversions, man. If you're convert, if you're if you're trying to run Facebook ads for sell for for if you're optimizing for sales or you're optimizing for leads. Again, man, this is this is mandatory. This is mandatory. We'll hit start over. Conversions. That's going to be your um, your objective, okay? And then we just go name it whatever you want. This is just a, a test, so whatever. And then I come down here, hit continue. And then now here's the setup. So we did all that so we can choose it over here, okay? Conversion, website, and it's going to be going to – we're going to be optimizing to get people to this page right here. Bam. Now it's green. It's active. I refresh the page. Now Facebook's picking it up. So free download opt-ins. That's what we're converting for, man. We're telling Facebook, Hey man, here's five bucks a day. Here's $10 a day. Here's who we want to add. And on the custom audience, because we set those custom audiences up yesterday, we can add those custom audiences right here. So boom, here are the three different audiences that I, that I set up. Okay. And that's on the previous video. So just a couple of days ago, I, my most recent video, I did that on custom audiences. So I'm walking you through. In fact, you know what? Stay to the end of this one and you'll see it pop up at the end. Stay to the end of this video. You're going to see it pop up. That's custom audiences. Okay. Um, I set these three up. So if I want to run an ad, okay, I'm going to run a conversions ad. I want to exclude, I want to exclude people who landed on this page. So people who landed on um, the free download opt-ins, I don't want to run an ad to them anymore because they've already seen my ad and they've already opted in. Also, people who scheduled an appointment with me, those are people who already seen my ad, they already opted in, and they even scheduled an appointment with me. I don't need those people seeing my next ad, especially if the next ad is the same thing. And just, you know, you're doing a new ad, same objective, get people on the phone, get leads, make sales, whatever. You don't need those people to see your next ad. That's the importance of custom audiences. Okay. So I can exclude them and, and make sure that they don't, if I'm running an ad to the same country, if I'm running an ad to the same city and I'm running multiple ads all the time, dude, I'm going to exclude those audiences because again, man, that's just spent more money spent that doesn't need to be spent. Whether it's the country that I'm targeting, whether it's the city, the town, the location, whatever, man, exclude those those leads, you, you know, and that's going to save you on your budget. So down here, just come down, set up all everything the same way, you guys, everything the same way. What I always do is I'll add a connection type and I always exclude people. But then again, if you have a lot of people that like your business page that are actually potential customers or clients, then okay, you can include and you can, you can, you can target them. People who like your page, you could for sure type in your, your page right there and, 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 and one of them will pop up, right? And then you can target them for sure, or you can exclude them. They can be part of your targeting. So not only am I targeting everyone in the U S or not only am I targeting, let's say I'm a local business owner. Okay. And I'm targeting people who live in San Diego. Okay. That's who I'm targeting people who live in San Diego, but I'm also excluding my custom audiences. And I'm also, and I'm also, um, 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 sending it to people just in my local area, people just in my local area, convert, uh, running conversion, optimizing for conversions, running it for leads. Um, and then I can change the, the the age and the gender if I want right there. But if you're in a real if you're a real estate agent, if you're an insurance agent, if you're anything like that, then um, you got to you know make sure you 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 over here on the on the um, yeah on the objective, make sure you go with special category, which is um, which is up here. Normally it's at the actually it was on it's on the it's on this part. Actually, I think it was in the very beginning, but we would have to start all over. But you'll see it. You'll have special category. It'll pop up. Um, and just make sure you choose either housing, um, 
freaking what's the other one freaking um um credit card if you're doing if you're promoting any kind of credit card so just make sure you choose that check box check that box if you are if that does pertain to you but um not me in this particular case but that's how you would you would run a conversions ad that's how you would set up a custom conversion and again that's for people that are looking to optimize for leads looking for leads if you're looking to run a run a facebook ad to a landing page or an instagram ad to a landing page you're running conversion ads you're 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 running it, running it to that custom conversions or again you can run it to the event to the event to the event the special event code that you set up you can run it to that too see like if i click on this X this out, and if I hover over it, click, it's these other ones, the trial, the purchase, the find location. These are all the other um, 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 event codes that I, that, I could, that I could have put on my web pages, but I didn't. Um, the only one that I put was, um, actually none of those, none of those, because I created custom audiences and I created custom conversions. But actually, you know what, I take that back, the lead, yeah, the the lead and the and the schedule is an event, right? Those are those are events. So I can either set it up that way. I can set up an event code, or I can set up a, a custom conversion, um, and custom yeah, custom conversion. And that's what I did. I set up a, a custom conversion, and that's the free download opt-ins. So you could test, man. You can run it to either one. It, I'm pretty sure it's the same, um, but but you want to do that first, man. You want to do that for sure on your thank you page. Grab that URL and set up a custom conversion around that. Okay, and stay to the end of this video. That's how you set up the video that you're going to see pop up next is the video on me setting up the audiences, the custom audiences before I even run my next ad. So these are things that you want to do before you run your next ad, man. All the ducks need to be in a row and you do not need to be spending more money than you need to. People that don't need to be seeing your ad don't need to. And that's how you keep it fresh and clean. You're only targeting people who are either already warmed up to your content or people that don't even know you just yet. Um, but it's a, it's the best way to segment. This is the game changer in all of online marketing is being able to segment. Um, whether it's on Facebook here with Facebook and Instagram or whether it's on YouTube, it doesn't matter. It's all the same strategy, same principles apply. This is, this is crazy, crazy target marketing at its finest. All right, guys. So set your custom conversions up and I'll see you in the next video over now.